Hey guys, what's up? My name is Patrick and welcome back to this yet another video. I'm so excited for this video because I really want to share this to the rest of the new parents out there who's struggling to get enough sleep during the night for the first probably let's say four to six months of our baby's life. And I'm going to share with you my 10 tips to help you kickstart your training. Well, I mean, your baby sleep training. And also, I will share to you our experience on how we do it during the first few days of our training. So before we get started to this video, um, I'm just going to add a quick disclaimer. I'm not an expert and you need to consult to your GP or your doctor before you get started with this training for your baby. And uh, what you will see or hear in this video is our own experience and obviously I'm not a doctor, I'm not an expert, I'm not a baby expert, I'm just a first time dad who just wants to share our experience because I really want to help those uh, new parents out there as well. And yeah, this video may or may not work for your baby. As you all know, babies are different. But one thing's for sure, this will help you over time. So I'm gonna share to you how we did our training with our baby. I'm gonna insert some clips to give you a rough idea on how this might work. As I said earlier, I'm so excited to share this video uh, or this training to you guys. It's because um, during the four month of our baby up to six months uh, we're really struggling to get enough sleep during the night uh, he tends to he tends to wake up every hour every couple hours and then uh, we end up having only less than six hours sleep each night and um, it's really hard for us and it's uh, very draining emotionally and physically because um, both me and my wife are working full-time during the day and my wife starts her work at 7 a.m. so she needs to get off the bed 5 in the morning to express a breast milk to give it to our baby before she leaves. And, and with that, she really needs to have enough sleep. And we haven't really had that enough sleep for ages until we started uh, sleep training our baby and for me of course um, I really need those um, quality sleep because my job is physically demanding and I'm looking after our baby during the day and as soon as my wife gets back from work I shoot off to work as well so yeah it's kind of like non-stop action for me and during the night I'm also looking after my baby so that my wife can um, rest but unfortunately it didn't happen during that four to six months of our baby's life. Sleep is pretty much important for us. It's because that's the only way we can revitalize, we can recover our energy so that we can carry on for another day and sleep is also very important for our young babies as it helps them grow. Growth speaks while he sleeps. So after a few days of starting our sleep training for our baby, our quality of sleep increased dramatically. It's very unbelievable that our baby is sleeping through the night for at least 9 to 12 hours. That's really, really good and we're pretty stoked, we're pretty amazed and yeah, it is the best thing that we ever did to our baby. And yeah, we were able to get our enough sleep as well, quality sleep. So for me, I'm getting like seven to nine hours of sleep every night. I know it's a little bit too much, but yeah, that's what I, I'm getting at the moment. And my wife, same. That's freaking awesome. Yeah, so as I said, that's the best thing that we've ever did and we're not looking back. So we are really thankful that we've trained our baby for this um, sleep. And yeah, um, we've helped our baby so much as well since he's not 
waking up in the middle of the night so here's my 10 tips to help you kickstart your sleep training number one is be confident Yes, be confident because during the first few days or few nights of your sleep training your baby, there will be a lot of regression. Um, by saying regression, your baby will your baby will cry so hard that, um, that you feel it is very heartbreaking. And for me, that's what I felt. And I was looking at the baby monitor and my baby screaming, crying, and I just couldn't take it anymore. But my wife reminds me like, hey, you need to be strong and you need to be confident that we can do it that we can um, overcome this it's it's only gonna be a few few days and so that's it as soon as you lay your baby down on his cot or crib he starts to cry and um, you need to leave him as well so that he can try and learn to soothe himself tip number two is best time to train you need to pick up or select the best time to train your baby because um, since our baby has a two naps during the day so you can you can try to train him in his morning nap or afternoon nap so that during the night he will have a rough idea of what's going on because he can uh, recall um, that oh I already did this earlier so he may have the idea that you're gonna leave him there and let him sit by himself so for our baby um, he's only having a two naps yeah so I try to train him on those two naps morning and afternoon so in the morning it's a little bit hard because um, he just had his uh, well I mean longest sleep of the day which is the night and he tends to have more regression compared to the afternoon and the night and sometimes it took us um, 30 minutes to 40 minutes of um, training him or before he's fallen asleep and in the afternoon uh, when it's about like 2 p.m. it's a little bit easy compared to the morning as it only took us uh, like 15 to 20 minutes so yeah it's pretty good and uh, during the night same 15 to 20 minutes so I suggest you pick up the best time to start your sleep training and stick to that time um, so let's say you pick the um, afternoon nap you should stick to it as soon as the sleep training is over or as soon as your baby has already a drop to that um, training tip number three is stick to your routine what I mean by this is you don't need to change anything on your routine. so let's say you're waking up with your baby around 7 or half past 7 in the morning and your morning nap is around 11-ish your afternoon is around 2 blah 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 you don't need to change those routine as this sleep training is just an addition to his um, development and it's just a help or a booster for him so for us my baby wakes up every 8 o'clock in the morning so he get his um, breakfast or formula or breast milk at around 8 30 to 9 and then he's playing time for like a couple hours and then um, bath or shower and then his first nap is due so we just carry on with that we just focus on his sleep training because that's the uh, that's our goal here tip number four is feed your baby 30 minutes to one hour before bedtime so what I mean bedtime is either uh, nap time or bedtime during the night um, I know this is quite opposite with the way I said earlier on tip number three but since we're talking about sleep training here our baby should um, know how to sleep independently so so obviously most of us what we do is um, feeding our baby to sleep or almost half asleep and then that's the time we're gonna put him on his cot or crib our baby will start to cry because he fell asleep rocking him so this tip number four is more important on the bedtime during the night as we are trying to sleep training him to sleep through the night so I suggest you should pick the best time to train as I said on tip number two as you will help him prepare for the night training so for our tip number five is establish your night routine so I know it's quite sound redundant to what I said earlier 
to stick to your routine but on this tip number five so which is the most important time of the day because this is our ultimate goal is you need to establish your night routine so let's say you want your baby to sleep by eight o'clock in the evening the latest so you need to start doing your night routine at seven so this means you need to like you know change change his clothes or shower him bath him or whatever meal time reading books play time for a short while or talking to your baby praying so whatever so you need to establish that so the baby will remember that by the time you start doing this at around that time your baby will remember that okay it is sleeping time it is bedtime already and I need to get myself ready for that because little we know babies are very unpredictable so by doing your routine or establishing your night routine it will help your baby develop those memories so for our baby um, he normally goes to bed during half past seven in the evening and um, by 6 30 in the evening he should be done with his dinner or feeding so we go to our bed and read him books prayers and before 7 30 his tip number six is be consistent Remember guys, remember dads, moms, consistency is your friend here. Consistency is the key. Because since we're talking about routine, it goes along with consistency. You need to be consistent with what you're doing, consistent with the time, with your routine, your activities. And as I said, and I will keep saying this again, because this will help your baby develop those memories. And on the first few days or nights, it is really important to be consistent. Tip number seven, add white noise or lullaby machine. If you don't have this already, I suggest you start buying or investing for this kind of machine or gears. Because um, these machines are really helpful to stimulate those sleeping hormones for our baby. Um, for our case, um, our baby has a... So for our case, our baby has this attached to his cot and we're just gonna say hey play white noise and uh, that's gonna play white noise for 12 to 14 hours continuously by the time he hear those white noise he's already expecting that he is going to sleep and this is really helpful we've been using white noise since day one and yes it really helps us a lot and I use this white noise every time he's sleeping morning afternoon and during the night so this this small machines is really great and you can just buy the cheapest one or the lullaby one or if you don't mind using your phone attach it to any Bluetooth speaker but I suggest this one is really cheap you can just like buy for $20 on Amazon number eight is check only when necessary I know during the first few days or nights, there's a lot of regression. Your babies are crying, you're screaming, and you can't take it because it's really heartbreaking. So I suggest you only check when necessary. Okay, so when he's just crying, let him be, but use the interval method of 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or whatever until your baby fell asleep. So let's say as soon as you laid down your baby on his cot time five minutes before you check him again if he is still good at five you carry on doing ten and then when you think that you need to check him you go check him and what you will do is you don't pick him up okay what you will do is just um talk to him words like comforting words for the baby like um daddy loves you mommy loves you it's okay time to sleep we'll play again tomorrow daddy's here rub his belly chest or back whatever pat him such pat him so do whatever you want as long as you don't pick your baby up as soon as he stops crying you leave him again and then you time it again for 15 minutes interval 20 25 so on and so forth until he fell asleep <coughs> <laughs> so
So for our case, um, so what we did in our baby is uh, 5, 10, 15, and 20 minutes intervals only. Because by the time, um, it wasn't actually 20 minutes, it's um, just past 15 minutes and the, our baby is already fast asleep. Tip number 9 is baby monitor. I know this is a must have for, uh, for newborns. If you don't have this yet, I suggest you buy even the cheapest one to to help you get started this training because on the tip number eight check your baby only when necessary so if you have a baby monitor you don't really need to go back and forth to your room just to check in so all you need is to just look at those camera monitors and yeah you will see what's your baby up to and obviously all those monitors comes with audio as well so you will hear your baby cry or not so baby monitor is very important for this training and last but not the least my tip number 10 is commit to it yes so be sure from the first night up to the last night of your training well I mean your baby's training you need to commit to it okay always remember the reason why you've started this training in the first place and I will tell you guys it will be rewarded okay all those heartbreak crying, worrying, will be rewarded in due time. So there you have it guys, my 10 tips and insights to get your baby start sleep training. And if this video does help you in the future, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please, please consider subscribing. This will help me a lot along the way. And I'll see you guys next time.